Hello, good evening. Hi there. Is anyone over there? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I don't know, teacher. I feel uh, exhausted. Exhausted? For real? A lot of work? Yes, I wish to be sleeping. <laughs> I know, I know. It's been a very long week. Right? Yes, I think. I know. And did it rain today? It's a little bit fresh at least. Right now, yes, but uh but raining on, only in the morning, maybe until 1 p.m. Ah, okay. So in the afternoon, zero raining. Zero raining. Okay. <laughs> but please have a fresh. That's good. I mean, that's good. At least, right? A little bit. Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah, I know. It's been a very long week. But look at the bright side. It's Wednesday. So little by little, we have to face this week. Okay, teacher. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's give a minute to your classmates. Maybe they can join us soon. Okay, we are going uh, to continue practicing. Okay, uh, teacher, I yes. have a question. Go ahead. Uh, how can I say, it's correct, it's correct to say, uh, is, is had not been, or is not, has been raining? Mm. Mm, I'm sorry, you are breaking up. You are breaking up. Can you repeat? Breaking up. Oh, no. Breaking up es como decir se le escucha okay. cortado. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe if I want to say no llovió o uh -huh. no ha llovido. Okay, I can, I can say didn't raining or isn't being raining. It depends the ones that you prefer. What happens is, I'm going to explain this. Rain is the verb. Rainy, on the other hand, that is not a verb, okay? If we use okay. rainy, um, basically that is like an adjective. Rainy is like, a, if we say lluvioso, right? No sé si puede ver lo que estoy compartiendo. Can you? Yes. But I. Mm -hmm. So I in your. Asking, asking using auxiliary has, uh -huh. has been. In this case, you have two options. You can say it didn't rain. So here mm -hmm. we are saying like no llovió. So in this case, it's okay. simple past. Um, if you want, uh, this is simple past. You can use the present perfect. It hasn't rained. This is the yes. present perfect. In this case, estamos diciendo no ha llovido. Right? Yes. And you can use the present perfect continuous. It hasn't been raining. So in this case, it's the present perfect continuous. But here we are saying like, no ha estado lloviendo. So we got the three different options. Okay, thank you. Let me take a picture. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So just remember that rainy is an adjective. 
In this scenario, rainy is an adjective. So we can say it is a rainy day. Or when I ask, what's the weather like? Ah, teacher, today, today is rainy. Oops, like this, rainy. In this case, I'm using rainy as an adjective. I'm saying, hoy está lluvioso. That okay, is the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. Excellent, no problem. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you? I cannot hear Thanks, you. Sir. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Arriving home, getting home, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how was the traffic today? I blessed. A really? lot of cars. <laughs> All right. But yeah. guys, look at the bright side. It's Wednesday. We are um, in the middle of the week, basically. Who's that? Yeah. So guys, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you. Thank you so much for being on time. And today we are going to have a lot of practice. Uh, let's see. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? No, I don't remember. <laughs> well, you weren't here, that's why. But the rest of you guys? Ah, that the is the warehouse. <laughs> warehouse. Yes. yes. What else? Uh huh. What else? What else? Oh my goodness. The leader characteristics. Very good. We were talking about some of the most important characteristics of a leader or in a manager, right? Remember we were talking about uh, how a good manager should be. You were imagining that if you were a manager, how would you do that, right? How would you act? So we were checking some vocabulary that I hope you remember, okay? So we are going to continue, guys. Uh, just don't forget, it's necessary to keep your camera on. Don't forget, guys, to write your full names. Um, these days ago, I, I have been seeing, right, that sometimes you just write one name and one last name. So, I mean, no, right? Camera on, full name on your profiles. And just remember, you have to stay here the full class, not just a couple of minutes. If you are going to be a listener, don't forget to write the word listener uh, on your profiles. Okay, so we can have uh, the register that you are a listener. So please, full names. I can see Jamie, Jamie, full names on your profile, please. Now, I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Uh, let's see, give me a second. Um, hold on, that is a little bit slow. Hmm. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher, I can. Excellent, okay. So today, guys, is June 7th, all right? Again, we are in the week number four, unit three, and uh, Today, we are going to explain transitions of results, okay? So we are going to learn what a transition is. And of course, we are going to learn how to use it in order to express some results. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Only one, please. 
Could I, teacher? Yes, please. Um, mm, class objective, explain transition of results. Result, class objective. Participant will be able to use transition of result. Thank you. So basically that is what we are going to be learning today. But before that, let's remember a little bit the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. Let's see if you remember everyone. Talking about leadership or management, right? Yesterday we were discussing a little bit about some positive and negative adjectives including the characteristic for a leader. Can you remember some of the positive adjectives that we can use to describe a leader? Positive. Which ones do you remember? Empathetic. Empathetic, okay, yes, that was a very positive one. Uh -huh, guys, and you? Competent. Yes, pretty good. What else? What else? Indecisive. Mm, but is that positive or negative? Indecisive. Or Oh, are you asking for positive? for the positive? Yes. Uh, and maybe likable. I don't remember likeable. how to pronounce. Yeah, that's the correct likeable. one. Likable. What else? Flexible. Flexible. Yes. Self as as or um, as or um, I don't remember except but self um hmm. self self assured assured self assured that is the one sure. self assured mm -hmm. now how about the negatives do you remember the negative ones. Arrogant, I remember. Arrogant. Yes. What else? Controlling. Mm. Control or what is the adjective? Controlling. Okay. Controlling. What else? What else? Negative. Stubborn teacher. Which one? Stubborn. Stubborn. I don't remember the pronunciation. That is the one. Stubborn. Okay. Stubborn. Okay. Pretty good. What else? Negative. Indecisive. Indeci indeci oh, you mean indecisive? Indecisive. Yes. yes, pretty good. Okay, I can see some of you remember the vocabulary. Okay, at least some of them. So these are some leader characteristics and these are the ones that we studied yesterday. We got some positive and some negative adjectives, right? And the idea guys is always practice them. Okay, the more vocabulary you have, the more you will talk. It will be easier for you to explain yourself, to explain your ideas if you use more adjectives. Pretty good. Now, yesterday we also discussed these questions. Do you remember these questions? Yes? No, teacher. No? And you guys, the rest of you? Could you answer all of the questions yesterday? No, teacher, just number one. Because Only the, the time. One. And yeah. Yes, we 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 start in the number two, but we are not finished yesterday at the end of the class. 
Mm, yeah, you are right. The time was short. Okay, let's start today's speaking class. Uh, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can finish to discuss these questions, everybody. Um, again, I can see many people with the camera off. I can see some people got right, the listening option, and that it's okay. But if you are not a listener, okay, please try to keep your camera on. With your camera on is that I understand that you are here in the class and that you are ready to participate, okay? So please, everyone, try to keep your camera on if you are not a listener. I mean, if you are a listener, I mean, it's fine. No worries. I totally understand. Now, just let me, uh, well, yesterday I sent you the questions, but I'm going to resend it again, right? Give me one second. And before going to the breaking rooms, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. All right. Carlos Abrego. Carlos, not here? Okay. Um, Christian Alexander? Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin? Um, I think she's a listener, right? Uh, Fatima Denise? Present teacher. Very good. Germán Alexander? Present teacher. Okay. Hector Francisco? Uh, Isabel Hernandez? Present, miss. Pretty good. Ivan Guzman? Uh, he's listener again. Uh, Jamie Raquel? Present. Very good. Holman Giron? Present. Okay. Uh, Lucy Natalie? Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante? Present. All right. Mirna Elizabeth? Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio? Present. Okay. Eh, Oscar Armando? I think he's listener. Okay, there you are. And Rosalina Alvarado? Rosalina? No? Okay, pretty good. All right, everybody. I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's group. I want to everybody go and participate, please. If you are in a group and nobody's talking, just let me know and I will switch you to another team, okay? Let me open up the groups. Here we go. Hello, Christian. Hello. Hello, Fatima. We're going to answer the WhatsApp question, right? Um, just one, the one and two questions. The, the first two? Question. Yes. Okay. Start again. Okay, going to read. What leadership qualities do you think you have? Mm. I have a courage. Courage. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes I I am empathetic, 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 empathetic. 
think that's it. Yes, I think just that and competent too. Okay. And you, what leadership qualities do you think you have? Mm, I think that I have respect, empathy, to yes, empathy. Empathetic. Empathetic. Remember that empathetic is the adjective. Like, I am empathetic. I am, I am empathetic. But if you say, I have, like, yo tengo empatía, in that case, we need a noun. And we say, I have empathy. Empathy. Mm -hmm. okay. So you decide. I have, I have empathy. Um, I think also I have gratitude. And that's it. I don't remember more. And Isabel? Hello. Isabel? Isabel. And Nelson. Okay, we got Nelson and we got Herman too. Yes. Oh. Hello. 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 Okay. In, in my case, I think I am a little flexible and maybe likable. I don't I don't have a lot of qualities. But maybe another can be I am a, a good listener when another people are talking or speaking about some topic. Okay. And Herman, what leadership qualities do you think you have? I think I'm flexible and a little bit like cable. Likeable. Likeable. I always forget that word's pronunciation. Yeah. A little complicated, likeable. but yeah, likeable. Exactly. Likeable. Yes. In negative, uh, maybe controlling. Okay. Okay, then yeah. the next one for Isabel is going to answer. What are you going to answer? Isabel. Mm -hmm. I, think I, think, that is... I think he's not there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Do you think that being a manager is a good job? Why and why not? Yes, it's a good job because you have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> More money. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's more responsibilities. There are more responsibilities. Okay. But it's interesting. I think that it's a good job. Yes, it's a good job. Yeah. When, when you have to um, try to other people. Yes. In that position, you have you have the opportunity to know or to meet some new people and help to another people to get or grow as personal growing or professional <coughs> skills, I think. If you are a yes, good man, very, you're right. Yes, it's very good for, for skills. Mm -hmm. and Fatima, what do you think? I think it's cool just because the payroll, the pay is good, but for responsibilities, 
I don't know because don't have a free time for for a, your family. It's true. I don't know. You spend a lot of time. Yes. And you lost time with your family. Yes. Because you have to answer uh, a lot of calls. <coughs> Causing your cell phone every time, every day, and you have to answer some pictures. Empathetic, okay. empathetic is the, the, the I think just that mm -hmm. look like, yes, empathetic. yes, Magdalene. Thank you. Empathetic, empathetic. Mm -hmm. Empathetic. Empathetic. Oh, empathetic. empathetic. <laughs> yeah. We are wrong. <laughs> empathetic. Remember yeah. that we have a TH. So the pronunciation is similar as when you say thank you. So empathetic. Empathetic. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Courageous. Is it, it is courageous. Yes. Courageous dismissive. Self-centered. Self assured, like, likable. <laughs> that is <laughs> the one, yes, <laughs> likable. Mm. Controlling, I am controlling. Controlling. I'm controlling. I don't know, stubborn. 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 No worries, your classmate will help you. Your classmate will yes. tell you what is the meaning of that word. Okay, man, I need your help. Oh my God, why me? <laughs> a stumber. Uh, yesterday we talked about the stumber because I it's a new word for me too. And the, the teacher say that is maybe it's like a president that we have in El Salvador that <laughs> do you remember that, when, that uh, example oh my yeah God. I remember the example <laughs> that when the president says uh, something that that is uh, in in Spanish is testarudo terco I don't know anything. yes I am yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a stumble when oh when your kids uh, they don't do that they or you say all the time, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, this is a stumber, it's necio. <laughs> okay, I am stumber. Yeah. You are really? <laughs> you are Maybe. a stumber. Oh my. oh my goodness. Maybe I don't know. I in my in my case, it's really difficult to say I can't. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> the situation. Okay, next question. No, Holman, Lucy, and in the group is Holman, Lucy, and and Jamie. Holman, Lucy. Who want to participate? I don't know. They are in the group. It maybe she's a listener. No, Lucy. Hello, Jamie. Hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. I'm driving Hi. right now. That's oh. because I don't. Okay. I don't hey. answer very quickly. Sorry. <laughs> hey, pick me up. Ah, right now, I I'll pick you. I'll pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no worries. I arrived to my home. Thank okay. you. And Jamie. Okay. Is there? This... Hi. Hi. Mm, my qualities that yes. it could be a leadership. I believe that I on the step and another quality. Flexible. Okay, flexible.
I think that she had a pro a trouble with the internet, maybe. Yeah, I think that is breaking up. Yes, yes. Okay, next. Magdaleno. <laughs> what is the next one? Do you think that being a manager is a good job? Mm. <laughs> Actually, for the money. <laughs> yes, I think that the responsibility is, is higher. Yes. But when you are a manager, you have... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> when you are a manager, you have in, at your back all the whole responsibility of the of the company. Yes. You have the responsibility for the people, for the buildings, for the builds, for <laughs> the builds. That is the situation. In my opinion, is a big challenge. Yes, for me, it's a good job. Of course, it's a good job because the salary is good and the opportunity that you uh, that you grow in, in in inside the company or maybe in in other company is is good. The, the 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 vision or the visibility that you have in in the company is is good too if 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 a company international is 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 is, is the best but is a is a is a hard <laughs> it's hard is is hard because you have to to job a lot of and you have to manage your people you have to manage your the old all control you have to controlling all things that in in the company. I think that is a is a, a big responsibility that you have. And why not? I think that I, in my opinion is is positive. I, I is positive. I, I think that is not negative. I am remembering one book. Is uh, twenty one literature rules. No, love. 21, leadership loss. In this book, the man, the writer, says that the leadership, the manager, the people who are in front of other people have to be so caref careful with the influence that they have above other, other ones. They have to be very careful yes. with, with that and and they have to they should to, they should share with the with their people they should uh, maybe must they must work have to have to learn another person mm -hmm. <laughs> yes maybe uh, Leader, did you have to do the activities? Leader, work with with work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the leader can can do the same things uh, that yeah. co-workers does too. Yes, a man. I think manager can be manager, leader, and a group of workers at the same time. This is a, a good manager. Yes, a this manager is more authoritarian and the leader is a motivator yes. and supervise and delegate and and demonstrate for co-workers how how to, to, do to make a, a job yes but manager can be uh likable can be fun. and at the same time it's not no not necessary only a leader 
but but he can be a manager and leader at the same time. It depends of the act attitude. Mm. Yes. A manager can be a friend with a worker. This is a leader for me. And a good manager, of course. All right, time's up. Sorry, but we don't have a lot of time. Let's go back to the main room. So, Christian, I see you have two profiles here in the meeting. Do you? Yes, I changed that to my cell phone for the camera. Ah, okay, okay, got it, no problem. Yeah, I was checking to Christian and I say, yes. who's the other <laughs> one? <laughs> Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys, let's wait for your classmates. Uh, they are still in the breaking room, so we are going to wait for them. All right, I know that the time is not so long, but could you answer all the questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. That's great, excellent. Okay, let's see everybody, time's up, let's go back. Okay, pretty good. Did you answer uh, the other teams? Did you answer all the questions? No, yes. teacher. No. <laughs> it's it's uh, amplia la pregunta, I don't know. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's like an open question, right? Yeah, it's open question, yes, it's difficult. So, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you were talking a lot, that's why. <laughs> Okay, pretty good. So let's analyze the questions. Um, let's see, I'm going to start interviewing. Uh, to turn, let me ask to Holman. Hello, Holman. Hi, teacher. Okay, imagine guys that I need a manager for my company. Okay, I will be interview you. You are the candidate, so please convince me. If you are my manager, I will pay you $1,500 monthly. Okay, so that's a lot. And you will have weekends off. Ah, so that's a good offer. So convince me with your answers. So Holman, imagine that you are my candidate to be the new manager. What leadership qualities do you think you have? Okay. Uh, I, I think it's important to be... Uh, uh, empath empath empathy, uh, empathy, empathetic, 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 mm -hmm. because you have to be sociable with your co-workers, it's very important, with employees, and flexible is it's important, and uh, I think uh, be uh, be be careful, be careful, be because you have to check a lot of different things. Uh, competent, competent, mm -hmm. competent. It's it's okay because you have to, you you have to. Organize the people they and know how can you do the different things and yeah. and only that yes I think uh, maybe um uh, Humble, humble is very important. You, you are, you are a, a big responsibility, but you have to be humble. It's very important. Mm, very good. 
Those are good characteristics, actually. Pretty good. So, Holman, are you humble? Uh, I try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> ah, okay. Good are time. you empathetic? No. no. <gasps> really? You're not? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Antisocial. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, pretty good. Holman, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Uh, maybe check the victim. <laughs> the victim. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not, uh, 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 Christian. Ayer no, no lo vimos. Oh, yeah, he wasn't here. Yes. That's right. Okay, Christian, <laughs> imagine that you are my candidate to be my new manager. Weekends off, good salary. So tell me, Christian, um, do you think that being a manager is a good job? Yes, sure. I think that it's a good job because we have the opportunity to, to know other people the the temper of another people and we can help another people also. Uh, the manager position is a good position if you want to help some you know, another people because this is a good way uh, to improve not just my knowledge, also their knowledge is that you can improve them. And that is important for me because yeah, uh, as a good manager, you have a good uh, result with your own co-workers and the other people next to you, and that is important for me. I mm -hmm. think it's a good job. All right, sounds mm -hmm. good. Okay, you see, Christian, he wants to be the new manager. I like <laughs> that. Christian, uh, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mirna. Okay, so Mirna, you are a candidate to be my new manager. Tell me, Mirna, um, what do you think are the hardest things about being a manager? Okay, in my opinion, the hardest thing that I, when you are a manager is the 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 people that you have to 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 influence in 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 your company because you have a lot of kind of people and the human resource is very important if you want to help in 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 your company and your goals and following the the goals that you have to to do at the end of the the year and you have to to to, to you have to to take or to do a good manners for for translating information at your team. I think that this is the the most important for me because the talent that you have, you have to motivate all the time the 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 human resource the, your the, the people because it's your motor that that with them you have to you have to complete the goal at the end mm, okay actually that's correct you know guys working with people is the most difficult thing that there are right it's, it's totally difficult okay thank you Mirna can you pick one of your classmates please Gerald boy <laughs> victim <laughs> you decide Nelson <laughs> All right. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Okay, you are my candidate to be a manager. What do you think are the differences between being a leader and a manager? Is there any difference? It depends of, of the characteristic of the person. Because I I think the manager can be a leader at the same time. But, mm -hmm. but it, it, it depends on the, the focus of the manager. 
Is the manager is flexible? Is the manager is likable or maybe humble? They can together with with the the their collaborators, not employees. Um, mm -hmm. Collaborators, collaborators work with employees. And manager, if the manager is all then think manager can be the leader at the same time. It's mm -hmm. my 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 point. But if the if the the manager is maybe called, I don't know, self-centered, I don't remember. Self-centered? <clears throat> Yes, and stubborn. I I think that my owner don't can be a, a leader. It but I think the manager leader. can yes, but I think the manager can be leader at the same time. Okay, sounds good. Interesting analysis. I like that. Thank you, Nelson. And as Nelson said, right, it's true. I mean, it's better to be a leader, not a manager. Remember that manager is more like bossy. And a leader, no, it's like co-workers, let's do the job together. Pretty good. All right, guys, excellent. Now, when I was listening to the groups, just be careful with some little details. For example, pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this word? Felt. Ah, very good. Remember, guys, that we have a letter P here. If you want to pronounce the letter P, you need to put your lips together. Okay? Help. Help. Put your lips together. If you don't pronounce the letter P, it sounds more like help. Ah, you can help people. Hmm, but what is the meaning of hell? Diablo. <laughs> it's the opposite <laughs> of no. heaven, right? A donde vive el demonio, right? In the hell. So yeah. imagine the meaning changes, but totally. So please, one letter can change the meaning. So be careful. The pronunciation is help. Help. Then can I say peoples? Peoples? No, no. without, without S. Uh, without S. Remember that people is already in plural. So we don't need the letter S. And I think that this word is giving some issues. What is the pronunciation? Empathetic. Ah, very good. Empathetic. Empathetic. I heard different pronunciations, guys, so be careful, okay? Empathetic. The TH we... is, is not, uh, is more. <laughs> TH, yeah. Empathetic. Aha, uh -huh. that is the yeah. one. Exactly. Like when you say thank you, that is a pronunciation. Empathetic, thank you. That is the one. Okay, so be careful. Okay, when we are talking about good managers or good leaders, we got the opposite, right? We got the bad management. So we got those bad attitude that some bad managers perform. So I wanted to match the words here, guys, with the words and the meaning over here. So this is about bad behavior. So imagine if I say, take what would it be the correct match can i say take chance take credit for your job or take recognition take their employees take to motivate staff take unrealistic expectation hmm, what do you think what would be the best match Remember, these are negative attitudes.
Uh huh. What do you think? Perhaps take great. Mm, can you repeat? Beautiful. With the letter B. Oh, with the letter B? Take credit for your job. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Take their employees. Or maybe. Take their employees. Remember that it, it needs to have a full sense. If I say take their employees, ¿Cuál es el meaning? You don't have, mm. yeah, you don't. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It doesn't have a complete meaning. Okay, let's keep take credit for your job. If later you change your mind, we can change it. Okay, the next one, resist. Hmm. Change. Resist, change. change. Everybody, yes? Yes. Okay. yes. How about have? Can I say have recognition? Have their employees? The letter F. Have unrealistic expectations? Everybody, what do you think? Have to motivate staff, maybe. <laughs> have to motivate staff. But remember, remember negative, is bad. exactly. It has to be negative, negative meaning. So if I say have unrealistic expectations, is that something negative in a manager? Yes, unrealistic is negative. Worse. Exactly, unrealistic. correct. Yes, so since the moment that we say unrealistic, we know that it's negative attitude. Now, number four, blame. Hmm, what is that, blame? Do you know what is the meaning of blame? Not to share blame. Imagine, for example, imagine that you did something bad. You made a mistake, but you don't want nobody knows that. <laughs> so you say, it wasn't me. It was the other guy. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? No. Teacher, yo no copié. <laughs> I didn't copy. Uh, the other person copied to me. What am I doing? Maybe the letter D, teacher. Uh huh. Blame? They are employee. Very good. So, how can I translate the word blame? What do you think? Culpar. Yes, exactly. You don't recognize your own mistakes. You blame yes. other people okay. for your yes. mistakes. Yes, it's okay. synonyms of guilty or guilt. Mm -hmm. mm, but what happens is that guilty is like an adjective. You mm. are guilty. Okay, mm. cuando cometemos un mistake, somos guilty. guilty. But you don't like to recognize your mistake and you blame to another person. So, culpamos a otros. No reconocemos mm. que somos guilty. Guilt. Mm -hmm. okay, Now, thank you. you're welcome. Look at the next one. Not give. Let an A, Recognition. 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 Yes. yes, maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes, don't give recognition. Don't give recognition. Uh -huh. I think not give change. Not change. give change. Or no, no, no. Give recognition. Okay, and what is the meaning of that? I, I, I am, I was reading change. 
No ah, changes. chances, like, like a chance. Uh huh. Yeah. So if I say my manager doesn't give recognition, hmm, what is that? What is the meaning of that attitude? No reconoce mi trabajo. Okay, that is a translation. I need the meaning. <laughs> when when some when some employee do something really good and they don't say good job, man. Something like that. Exactly. That is a recognition, right? In this case, how would you feel? Imagine that you did an excellent job and your manager is like, ah, I don't care. And nothing, not even a word of like congratulation or thank you, you did it great. How would you feel? What do you think? Sad and unmotivated. <laughs> Sad. Unmotivated. Unmotivated, yes. Definitely. Imagine, I mean, it's very negative, that attitude. Now, the last one, be unable to motivate the staff. Ah. What happens if we have a manager that is, that he can't? motivate the staff oof what will happen what do you think people really don't work with her with their heart exactly people their will heart. heart people will get to the job and it's just like ah, i just want to wait the moment to leave right they are not doing their best. They are just doing it because of the salary. I just to do it, but not because they want to, okay? So have you ever had a manager with one of these negative attitudes? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Which ones? Which was the bad attitude that your manager had? I knew one 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 boss who who don't who don't motivate their staff, and he and he resist to the changes. <laughs> wow imagine never guys. change no if that is the way please don't change that that is the way other things not good for for church is not that wow. that is the that way is very negative yes oh my goodness how about you guys have you ever had a manager with one of these negative behavior I remember teachers that I had a yes. manager uh -huh. that sometimes it gave me motivation, mm -hmm. but he was humble to recognize, recognize, recognize? That, that the That the the first one, how do you say first one? Effort. Avoid effort about the employees. Mm, okay. Only yes, only, only eh, como cuando decimos en, en español solo puyaba y puyaba y no <laughs> push, just pushing. Yes, only that. Yes, only that. Mm -hmm. In after, in after that, oh, about was a bad manager. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, we can have different kind of managers, right? So, guys, when you become a manager, don't be like this, okay? Um, mm -hmm. I heard someone else. I think was Jamie. Jamie, have you ever had a manager with one of these negative attitudes? Yes, no. 
Okay, I cannot hear you. Anyone else? Managers. Yes, have you ever had it? No? All right, look at the next question. It says, what other things do bad managers do? Besides these ones, okay, what could be another bad things? What do you think? Any other that comes to your mind? When. Uh huh. Like when a boss is 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 liar. Oh, it's a liar. Yes, I have uh, the worst boss that no one can can have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Imagine, guys, but it's you don't have that one anymore? No, uh, uh, no anymore. Ah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but imagine if the manager is a liar. Oh my gosh, how can you trust in that person? Yes. That's totally negative. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? Is there any other bad attitude that a manager can have? Maybe teacher, when you when your manager had a bad behavior. Like which kind Smo of behavior? Smoking a lot all the time mm. is is not too good for the rest of the That's people. True. That's because they true. are they because they are a manager, they are the boss, and you they have to give an example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So if you see, we have bad managers behavior. So these phrases are like collocations. The name of collocations is because these phrases, most of the time, they go together. Like take credit. We cannot put another verb like have credit. Mm. Take credit for your job. Resist change. Have unrealistic expectations. So those phrases goes together. Okay. Now. Is there any question about this vocabulary? Yes, no? no. The last one, please, teacher. The last one, number six. Yes, repeat. Uh huh. Be unable to motivate stuff. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, pretty good. So, guys, now, there is a problem sometimes we don't know exactly how to use different words. Remember that a word can have different meaning depending on the function. For example, I have the verb support. If it is a verb, what is the meaning of support as a verb? In Spanish? Uh huh. Maybe ayudar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other idea? Soporte. But as a verb, soporte is more like a noun. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh huh. It must ah. be as a verb. A verb. Attend. Yeah, like, like a tent, yes. So basically, this is like un apoyo, right? Like apoyar someone. Now, as a noun, the meaning changes. As a noun is like the ones that Holma was saying, right? And if I need the adjective, what do you think? What is the adjective of support? Any idea? Well, I don't have. 
maybe supporting. <laughs> supporting. Helpful. <laughs> okay, those are synonyms. But if I want to use the same root, I will say supportive. Oh, but it would the double P if I'm not wrong. Okay, supportive. Imagine if I want to use the phrases in a sentence as a verb, I have to say, for example, eh, my manager always supports the team. I'm using the word support as a verb. Okay? Si lo quiero usar como un noun, ¿Cuál podría ser una sentence using support as a noun? What do you think? You are giving support. Very good. You're giving support. You're giving a lot of support to the company. You're giving support to your uh, co-workers. If I want to use supportive as an adjective, what could be the sentence? The manager is supportive. Okay. Know. It sounds good. The manager is supportive, right? So we can use these phrases in different scenarios, guys, depending on the function. Teacher. Yes. A uh, question. Um, if uh, I, I can use the, the phrase, the number support the result, the result. It's like uh, the, uh, the number support the, the selling or the sale. El aumento en la, en la, uh, el aumento en las, en las ventas. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, the, es como decir, los números que obtuvimos soportan eh, in the results. Yes, in that it's case. Like noun. Mm, but if you are saying like supportan, support. No, it's, it's like uh, it's um, uh, fundament. I don't know. Is uh, you have when you uh, have a study. Oh, you or mean like like the uh, respaldo, un soporte. Uh -huh. That's what you mean. Like that. Ah, uh, yeah. In that case, it's like a noun. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you see, the meaning can change, right? Depending on the functions that you are giving. And if you see, the spelling is very similar, but the function inside of the sentence is different. Now, what happens with the next one? Uh, let's see, uh, let me erase this. I have the word, Motivation. Motivation is the noun. As an adjective, the word is motivated or motivating. What is the verb? It's motivate. Ah, very good. Is motivate. Okay. Then I have inspired. Inspire is the verb. The adjective can be inspired or inspiring. What will be the noun? What do you think? Inspiration. Great job. Excellent. So we are going to say inspiration. Great. So the words are very similar. The function in the sentence is different. I have another one, empower, empower, I'm sorry, empower. Have you ever heard that word? I never. Never? No. no. Only okay. the girls <laughs> empower the- Empower, uh, that's power. similar, that's similar. Uh, empower is the verb. So this is like to give the power to someone. That is the meaning for empower. 
Like I will say, hey girls, I empower you to be successful, right? I'm giving you the power. What will be the noun? Empowerment. So nowadays it's very common to listen to this word now in Spanish, right? <laughs> to describe some people. What will be the translation of empowerment? Empoderamiento, maybe. That is the one, exactly. Very good. And what do you think? What will be the adjective of this word? Empowering. <laughs> Actually, it is. Empower. Oh. Both. We have both. And Empowered it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or empowering. Here, if you remember the rules, when it is ending in ED, is for feelings. When it is ending in ING, is for characteristics. Okay? Then I have the verb develop. Have you ever heard develop? What yes. is that? Yes. Development. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, develop is development. Desarrollar. Ah, that is a one. As an adjective, again, it can be developed or developing. And the noun? Development. Very good. Develop. Oops. Ment. Development. So, for example, we can say El Salvador has some development. Yes. Do you have a question? Yes, I have one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know the rules. Could you repeat that, please? ING uh, adjective and oh. then with ING is for? Characteristics. And ED? Feelings. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For example, if you use motivate, you can say, today I feel motivated. I will pay a lot of attention. I will do my best in my job. So you feel motivated. That's your feelings. Motivated, the adjectives ending in ed, is only for people or animals. Alive, okay? Only for alive things. In ing, on the other hand, this is just for characteristic. I can say, Hey, yesterday I saw a very motivating movie, right? The movie doesn't have feelings. So I'm giving a characteristic. That is the difference, okay? Okay, it's very clear. Thank Great. you. Great, you're welcome. Okay, then I have encourage. What is the meaning of encourage? Uh -huh. In Spanish translation? Okay. Animar. Exactly. So encourage and motivate, actually, they are very similar. All right. As a noun, what would it be? Encouragement. Encouragement. How do we use that word in Spanish? What do you think? Encouragement. Uh huh. No idea? What will be the translation? What do you think? The encouragement team uh -huh. uh, was really wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, look in the chat says that the translation could be coraje. Yeah, that could be one. Could be animo, or it can be the same as support. Remember that support is like apoyo, animo. So that is the same meaning for encouragement. So 
If encouragement is the noun and courage is the verb, what is the adjective? What do you think, everyone? Encourage, did. Encourage? Did. Like ING? No, ED. Ah, okay. So you mean encouraged like this? I think. And yes, you are correct. So in here, guys, again, we have the two options. We can say encouraged or encourage. Gene. It's going to depend on the meaning that you want to provide. So the idea, guys, is that you have to recognize that sometimes in English, you will find words that are very similar. If you see motivate, motivation, motivated, I mean, they are very similar, but they will be different in the context that you will use them. And this is very common mistakes, okay? A veces tomamos un adjective y lo estamos usando como un verbo. A veces tomamos un noun y lo tomamos como un adjective, okay? So we need to be careful with that. A veces decimos, I have inspired. Yo tengo inspirar. ¿Tendría sentido? Hmm, not really. I, she is development. Does it make sense if I say she is development? Hmm, no, right? So we need to learn to use the words as a verb, as a noun, and as an adjective. Is it clear? Yes? For sure. <laughs> Ready for the exam? If we got an evaluation about it? Yes, I do. <laughs> for both. Uh, okay, tomorrow I will ask you. I hope you don't forget these words, everyone. Okay? Be careful. Tomorrow I expect you still remember the meaning and what is the difference between the verb, the noun, and the adjectives. Okay? Any questions so far, guys? Clear as horchata or as water? <laughs> as horchata. <laughs> as horchata. Oh <laughs> as horchata as always, right? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Now let's stop uh, talking about um, the leadership and manager. And now let's think about something a little bit different. This is in your manual. Remember that we are continue talking about the unit number three. And now we are going to talk about the explain transitions of results. But what is the meaning of transitions? Well, that is what we are going to discover tonight. First of all, I have two questions. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question number one. Me? Yes, go ahead. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Thank you. We already studied the meaning of warehouse. Okay, so can you tell me what are some problems, guys, that we can find there? What do you think? Teacher. Uh huh. What? What? Providers, 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 providers. providers. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what is. No worries. Okay, everybody, do you know what is the meaning for providers? providers. What is like that? A suppliers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Providers is people who carry merchandise for the warehouse. Exactly, it's the people who give um, to give the product, basically. Uh, imagine that you need $100 and a person gives you the $100. This person will be your provider. 
is the person who gives something. Like, yes? hey, when I has one. Like a what? Proveedor. Yes, that is the one. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Magdalena, do you have a provider who gives you money or what? I want. <laughs> you want a, a provider? <laughs> yes, yeah. I would want. All of us. <laughs> All right. So, everybody, can you name some problems that can affect the warehouse? Sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a, a lot of product and they have a small warehouse. Ah, very good. That is one. Totally correct. Mm -hmm. uh, another problem, for example, in the in in a in the pandemic pandem pandemic pandemic uh, was. Uh, there aren't many containers for transport the all the goods. To transport all the goods? Yeah, that's true. In that moment, right? <laughs> In the middle of the chaos, some warehouse didn't have enough trucks. That's true. What else? Can you think of another problem, guys? That Maybe the warehouse they'll, have? Uh -huh. they Delay the delay the time and your and your shipment or when when I arrive on time in your warehouse is a, a problem. That's true. When we don't have the correct schedule, right? Imagine that says the shipment will be at 8 a.m. and nothing happens at 8 a.m. and it's like 10 p.m. Imagine that's that's a very, very long delay. That's true. And, That's and the weather t-shirt, the weather, I think that is a problem. It's when another you one. Uh-huh. Teacher, how yeah. do you call, how do you call um, when in my house, my roof is scratched and the water filter inside my house? What is the word to say that? I don't get your Gotera idea. Gotera in español. Goteras. Drops? Like gota. Got. Drops. Mm, oh, you mean the verb? Yes. Ah, leak. Leak. And it's, uh, it's, it's, and it's like it's like this. Let me show you. It's like... In leak. Spanish, in Spanish, I want to say, cuando hay goteras adentro de la bodega mm -hmm. o filtraciones de agua. Yes. In this case, leak, it's like um, literal, la gotera, right? Cuando hay una fuga de líquido. Yeah, so leak. When it's raining. Not only raining, in everything. So, for example, if you have a bottle of water and the bottle of water has a damage and it start the water uh, going out by drops that is hey my bottle has a leak right so tiene also, una fuga, tiene una gotera. that is the one uh-huh yeah also the air conditioner they they make a, a leak in exactly. some occasion because we need to maintenance the the air condition yeah we need to do the maintenance yes this is not only guys when is rainy or in the roof. Ah, solo en el techo I leak. Not really, right? This could be everywhere. When we have liquids and when the liquids, it's going out by drops, that is a leak, okay? Okay. So imagine, can we have leak in the warehouse? Yeah. It's really a big problem. It is, especially imagine when we have very delicate products. So this teacher, is a huge problem. Yes? Teacher, when there is a, a rat 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I haven't thought about it, but it's totally true. Guys, imagine a warehouse infected by a lot of rats. <laughs> what do you think about it? Oh my gosh. That's how can terrible. I how can I say guacala? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guacala is a colloquial expression. So we don't have <laughs> translation. But yeah, that's what we can use is like you. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of chefcitos. Ah, la mini chef. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if you see, guys, those are some of the most common problems that can affect a warehouse. Now, the question is this. How do you identify these issues and how can you prevent them? Thinking about all the issues that we already mentioned, how can we prevent them? Uh, for example, have a uh, in plan insure. Sure. Mm, what is that? Sure. Uh, mm, Un seguro? Ah, assurance. Yes. Mm -hmm. That helps because in that case, there will be a company, guys, that is going to help you to prevent any kind of issues. That's a good idea. What else? Uh -huh. um, fumigar. How do you say that? Ah, Contract yeah. some, some companies who do that for, hmm. for the fumigate. I will say fumigate, but be honest, I'm not sure because we have a spray too. Mm -hmm. um, let me search. We are going to search the definition because I will say fumigate, uh, but let's see the difference between a spray. Um, there are there are some companies who do who do that mm, holy no truly nolan um yes. other one. look at this picture it's going to tell us the difference between fumigate and sprayed look at this picture um i think that the fumigate is with this machine for example, when you have some farmers, the farmers use these ones. Have you ever seen it? Los farmers, cuando van yes. como fumigando yes. las plantitas, yes. right? I am, yes. I am familiar so, with that. Ah, okay. And sprayed is like with the smoke, like when you have a lot of mosquitoes in the uh, city hall, <laughs> send the employees to spray your house. I don't know if that happens in your city. Yes or no? No. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the Ministerio de Salud. Yeah. yeah. You know, in my city, not all the time, but especially in winter, this is a bit common. The city hall, cuando quieren empezar a ganar puntos, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought that. Uh -huh. Next they year. <laughs> start, yeah, they start to send their employees. So look at the difference. Spray is like with the smoke and fumigation is especially like with liquid, right? It's liquid. So in this case, uh, oh. what do you think, Magdaleno? What is the best one that you want to use in your scenario? fumigation or spray it's not totally clear i understood that fumigation is with the smoke and the spray the is with liquid is the opposite um uh -huh. according to the definitions um fumigation let, there oh, are no forms. yeah it's the opposite yeah exactly as you said i'm sorry my bad mal. so fumigation or fumigates is look in the air and the spray is basically the other one. It's, it's very confusing. What happens is that they are kind of the same, but yeah, fumigation. Let's see if we got a picture over here. Okay, look, actually look at, we have another one, fogging. Hmm. 
Yes, it's the same maybe the, the machine that they use for- It's just, that is the only difference. That is the only difference, the machine. But look, this is fumigation, mm -hmm. like with the smoke. And let's see if that, we can find a picture. Uh-huh. With the spray, the spray tendría que ser este. Look, it's como un liquid. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So in your case, uh, Magdaleno, if you want to prevent issues, Inside of the warehouse, which one will you use? The spray or the uh, fumigate? It depends. If you have mosquitoes, a lot of mosquitoes, you have to fumigate. Uh -huh. If you have, um, I don't know how the, how I can say cucaracha. Cockroach? Cockroach. Mm, it's new word. <laughs> if, if you have cockroach, oh, Cockroach, cockroach, cockroach. If you have cockroach, it's better to spray. And with the rats? With mice, it's better. Um, cats. Uh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. cats. No, cats, no. <laughs> Trampas. Uh, poison. Trampas. It's better poison. <laughs> Trump. Okay, in this case, poison guys, is better in this case. Fine. Poison, come on. All right, look at this one. Mouse is in singular, mice is in plural, so we cannot say mice. Okay. Oh, mice, sorry, mice. mice. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. So, if you see, guys, we are talking about resolving issues when we are talking about results we can use transitions and that is what we are going to learn today how to explain something how to resolve issues using transitions and we are going to see some examples in this conversation i will need two people for reading so who wants to read give me names magdaleno magdaleno and Lucy. Lucy, thank you. Okay, guys, this conversation is on your manuals in the page 27. So in this scenario, guys, we got Mrs. White and Mr. Daniel, right? They are talking about some issues with the purchase orders. So let's read the conversation and let's see what happens. Okay, so go ahead. Mrs. White, you start. Daniel, I'm going over some Porsches. Uh, it's all the paragraph, this is. <laughs> Daniel, I'm going over some Porsches order, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Magdaleno? Mute. <laughs> uh, oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy for with the correct numbers. Okay, well, May, hold on. Maintenance. Maintenance, okay, mm -hmm. maintenance. Okay, continue, please. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Reimbursement. Interesting word. Have you ever seen that word before? Give the money again. Are you sure? No, I am. Yes, the doctor. but it is. <laughs> Guys, reimbursement is basically as a refund. Okay. When mm -hmm. you return the money, that's all. In this situation, what is the problem here? What happened in this conversation? Uh-huh. The order not matches. 
Okay, the order receive to go much. Uh huh, very good. And what did they do? How will they resolve it? Um, they they need to the information to send the finance department. Uh huh, and then they have to contact. The to company. the company as for the return. Exactly. When they are explaining the problem, look at the phrases that they are using. Um, that situation happens during the days the system uh, receives maintenance. Look, that's why. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Another expression that they are using is as a result. So these phrases are transitions, okay? And these type of phrases are the ones that we are going to study today, okay? Talking about transitions, we have different types of transitions. We have transitions to explain a, a time, okay? To explain, for example, sequence, first, then, next. These are like connectors, guys. Transition is just another way to call them. We have transitions if you want to give examples. We can say, for example, what is the other ones that we can use? Do you remember? In the other hand. On the, mm, but if you want to give examples, that is contrast. This is contrast, exactly. For, for instance. instance, yes, those are the ones that we studied. But look, we have more. You can say as an example to illustrate, okay, as a case in point such as all of these phrases means, for example, and they are another type of transitions. If you want to explain an effect of something, right? You can use these ones. Consequently, as a consequence, as a result. So these are the ones that we are going to study tonight, okay? In this moment, mm, we are not going to pay attention in these ones, okay? Later maybe, but not today. We are going to focus on these. When we want to explain the result, okay? The effect. So let's see the way that we can use them, okay? Let's see some scenarios, but first let's learn the meaning. Consequently, do you know what the meaning is? With some, some things is cause for other things, is a consequence. That is a, mm -hmm. Exactly. So for example, imagine when appears the COVID, <laughs> what can we say? What were the consequences that we have with the COVID? Do you remember? When COVID show up, consequence, consequently, consequently, a lot of people died. That is a good one. I mean, that's a bad <laughs> consequence, but that is a good example. Exactly. Imagine we can say uh, in 2020, when COVID appears, we couldn't go to work. As a consequence, we have to stay working at home. Oh. Okay, what else? What is another consequence or another result that we had with COVID? Do you remember? 
Yes, maybe. Um, when COVID appear, was appeared, it as a consequence, consequently that 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 the people have was the I'm social <laughs> <laughs> lockdown. Lockdown, yes. Mm -hmm. and, so imagine we can use different ones in that example that Mina provides. We can say because of the COVID, we couldn't go out. As a result, we stay locked down. Lockdown is like in quarantine, right? So these expressions are sharing or showing results, okay? Let's see some other examples and let's see the structure that we need to follow. Uh, we are going to jump that one because of the time. So let's go to your manual, page 28. Here we have the box that is going to explain to us how to use transitions. Okay, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Uh huh. Can I? <laughs> yes, please. Okay, transitions help connect ideas. In this case, these transitions connect a, a result to the action that caused it. Very good. So when you are explaining a problem, you have the cost, you got the reason, and you got the result. Okay, I have this problem, for example, COVID. I have the problem. And I have the results. What happens when we have COVID? And these transitions, guys, these phrases, they are only joining both sentences. Okay? Let's see some examples. If you see, when the transition is positioned between two clauses, we need to pay attention in the punctuation too. What is the meaning? If we are talking about in English, of course, what is the meaning of clauses? What do you think? What is that? A group of words what means something. Exactly. So guys, a clause is like if you say a sentence but a sentence with a full meaning. Es decir, que es una oración con un significado completo, right? En una sentence, ¿qué tiene que haber para que una sentence se considere completa? Tiene que tener un subject. ¿Qué más? A verb. A verb and complement. a complement. So, if you have a close, it's because you are going to have two sentences with these characteristics, and you are going to have a transition or a connector that is going to join them. Okay? Let's see some examples. Look at the first one. In the first sentence, it says, the level information was wrong. That is one clause. Do we have a subject in that sentence? The label. The label information. Do we have a verb? Was. Was. Do we have a complement? Wrong. Wrong. Si yo tomo solo esta oración, ¿creen que tendría sentido? The label information was wrong. Actually, yes. Yes. That's why this is considered one clause. Aquí tengo una clause. Let's see the other one. Imagine the sentence. The packages were put in the correct bins. Oh, I'm sorry, in the incorrect bins. Hmm, do we have a subject in this sentence? Yes, the packages. Yes. Do we have a verb? Yes, yes and past tense. Where put? And do we have a complement? Yes. 
Yes. So in this case, this is another clause. So in this moment, how many clauses do we have? Two full clauses. Two. Exactly. So what do I need to do? The only things that I need right now is a transition. And the transition will connect both sentences. Look, it's the bridge. What will be the complete sentence? I need a volunteer for reading, please, the full sentence. Teacher, what is the pronunciation for level? Level? Level. Mm -hmm. Level. Go ahead. Okay, the level, um, the level information was wrong. As a consequence, the packages were put in the, in the incorrect beans. Beans means, what does mean, means mean? Beans, what is the meaning of beans? According to the sentence, guys, try to deduct. What is that? Beans is like uh, when you have a, Container. <laughs> exactly. Like container. That's it. Beans <laughs> is like containers. That's it. Now, if you see, guys, these transitions, they are just putting together. So, what happens here? What is the action? What is, or what is the problem? The problem is that the label information was wrong. And what is the result? of this action? What is the result? That you put in the incorrect beans. That the packages were put yeah. in the incorrect beans. So, como este es el resultado, yo necesito una transition de result. ¿Y cuál es la transition de result que puedo usar? In this scenario, I'm using oh, as a consequence, you. okay? Be careful mm -hmm. with the microphones, please. Now, if you are writing or typing an email, you need to be careful with the punctuations. And be careful because if you have some exercises, you have to pay attention here. If you have the first clause, after the first clause, what do I need? One point. point. Very good. Then, as a consequence, what do I need? Capital letter. Capital letter. After the transition phrase, what do I need? Comma. Mm -hmm. I need a comma. Okay. So basically, we have to separate them. Okay. No puedo colocarlas así por así. We need to follow the punctuation marks. Now, let's see the second examples. Volunteer for reading, please. Uh -huh. uh, me teacher. Yes, please. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. Very good, look. I have one clause here. I have the result that is another clause over here. And now, what is the transition phrase that I'm using? It's as, as a result. As a result. Pay attention in the punctuation marks. Uh huh. What is the punctuation marks that I have here? Point. Capital letter and comma. Very good. So basically, it's like if we enclose the transition symbols, okay? Siempre la encerramos, punto, coma. But that is not the only options that we have. We can also use a semicolon. Volunteer for reading the third example, please. Uh -huh. If anybody 
want? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please do it. Okay. The vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. Very good. So everybody, wake up, wake up. I need to everybody stay here in the class with me. In this case, do I have a point before the time expressions? No. No. What do I have there? Point and comma. I don't know. How do you say point and comma? Okay. <laughs> semicolon. I just, I, <laughs> semicolon. Yes. Oh, sorry. Semicolon, right? So but this, why, teacher? Why? Why you don't need to to point and capital letter in this in this in this sentence? Well, basically, guys, you decide. I mean, you can use both. Oh, it's not um, like a rule, like, ah, con esta frase tienen que usar punto. Ah, con esta otra tienen que usar, like, semicolon. No, really. Ah, it's it's a, just, our decision that if exactly. we want to... Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing that you have to consider that, and this is happening in Spanish, right? Que tan relacionadas están las sentences. Si las sentences... Um, no cambian el significado, like they are talking about the same, right? You can use a semicolon. But in this scenario, guys, semicolon and point, it's not a difference. I mean, it's just basically the same. And you just have to decide which one you will use, okay? Just remember, after the semicolon, do I need a capital letter or not? No. In Spanish, no. no. Not in Spanish, English, no. In English, either. You don't need it either. Okay. So after the semicolon, what do I have here? Lowercase. I don't have capital letters. Okay. But if you have a point, you do. Okay. You need the capital letter. That is the difference. Be careful with that. Okay. Then. Uh, I have the next sentence. I need another volunteer, please, for reading. Yes, can please. I... Okay, Fatima and Jamie, you can read the last one. No worries. Okay. We didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers had to go to the hospital. Thank you. So imagine in the previous sentences, I have as a result, but I have a point. In this sentence, again, I have the same phrase as a result, but what do I have now? A, a semi semicolon. Yes. So that's why, guys, I say there is not a rule that says, ah, with this phrase, point, with this phrase, semicolon. Not really, right? So you can use it with both, no problem at all. Now, uh, Jamie, can you read the last one, please? Okay. There, there were no workers, safe, safety. Safety. Uh, gene, safety, generalized. Guidelines. Guidelines. Therefore, we train in the staff in safety procedures. 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 Very good. Okay, again, we have two sentences. Let's imagine, guys, that this sentence is the cost. Esta es la causa. And what is the result? The next sentence. Okay, in this scenario, what is the meaning of therefore? What do you think? Any idea, guys? Therefore? Nope. No, teacher. I okay. have no idea. If you want to translate it, therefore, it will be like when we say, por lo tanto, right? Or, por consiguiente. So in this case, we are saying there were no worker safety guidelines. No teníamos guías, right? Que nos guiaran para la seguridad de los workers. So, ¿cuál fue el resultado? The result, 
was that we train the staff in safety procedures. Okay, now what do we have here? Semicolon, and then I have a comma. Okay, when you are speaking, I mean, there's no problem at all. Just you just have to pay attention to put the transitions phrases between the two clauses. The problem is when you are writing. When you are writing, you need to pay a lot of attention in the punctuations. We are going to have an exercise and we are going to see if you paid attention in the punctuations rules. But before that, I'm going to check attendance one more time. When I check attendance the first time, some of your classmates weren't here. So let's see if they are here already. Hey, Adriana Escalante. Okay, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Erika Jasmine, uh, she's listener. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Hector Francisco. Excellent. Um, Ivan Guzman. Oh, he's listener too. Sorry. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Oscar Armando. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, pretty good. Now, uh, we don't have a lot of time. We are going to complete this exercise and I think that I'm not sure if we are going to be able to finish it. I have here, guys, different sentences, okay? I needed to apply the correct punctuation, okay? Imagine if I say, we remove items from cartoons and packages. As a result, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Hmm, so what do you think? Is this sentence correct or what kind of punctuations do I need? We need a semicolon maybe. Semicolon? Um, Where? Before us, packages us, between packages and us. Okay. And a comma. And a comma between between um, result and pickers, comma. Okay, right here, a comma. In my opinion is there. Whoops. Okay, guys, what do you think? Do you agree or do you have any other idea? Yes, this is the first result. If you want to put a point, in at the end of the package, you have to put a capital letter. Us mm -hmm. is the other option, yes. But... Okay, I'm trying to write a comma, but the space <laughs> is so small, so tiny. Um, <laughs> okay, well, you know that is a comma, right? <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm sorry. It's, it's beautiful, that <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was never good at drawing. <laughs> okay, look at this one. What is the transition that we have here as a? Result. Very good. So do we have capital letter here? No. We don't know. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Um, okay, 
Sorry, I was helping one of your classmates. Okay, I don't have capital letters. That's why I cannot put a point. I have to use a semicolon. How about in the sentence number two? I need a volunteer, please, for reading sentence number two. Could I? Yes, please. The vendor is shipping multiple, multiple, or multiple? Multiple. Multiple, multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste we have to waste time to open the box count and count the items and rebox them all right it's so what happened twister. here <laughs> all right hector go ahead sorry teacher i have a question with our first sentence yes um we removed item items from cartoon and package for mm -hmm. me, it's one one uh, sentence and, yes. and have a person and verbs and la la la. As a result, pickers are not able. It's able? another sentence. Able is another sentence. It's not a per period, a punto. Oh, Capital you... letter as a result, comma, picker. Do you mean here? In the second sentence, maybe? Mm -hmm. It's uh, the two sentences. Speakers are not able. Aquí, another comma, you mean? No. Or Remove where? items from carton and package. Uh -huh. Punto. Period. Period. Ah, OK. As period. capital letter. Uh -huh. uh, as a result, comma. As a result. Uh -huh. And then comma, a comma. Speaker, uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Ah, because, okay. Because uh, two sentence, first sentence, uh, ocasiona, and not, not remember, um, consequently, uh, pickers not, are not able to find these two sentences. For me, it's a point. It's a, it's Actually, a... it makes sense. Si se puede, guys. Remember, ¿cuál es la idea de este tipo de oraciones? que vamos a tener siempre two sentences, right? The first sentence tiene que ser una oración completa, as your classmate says, subject, verb, complement. La segunda oración también tiene que ser una oración completa, subject, verb, complement. And the transition lo que va a hacer es unirlas. In mm -hmm. this scenario, mm -hmm. ambas, ambas se pueden. Podemos usar un semicolon, and then the word as a result, coma. Or mm. we can change it. We can add a point, but if we add the point, as Hector says, we need a capital letter as a result and then a comma. Both options are correct. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Ambas se puede. No worries. Sorry, sorry, teacher. I, I no worries. You had a point and it's totally valid. No worries. Now, Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Okay, so we're going to continue tomorrow uh, practicing these expressions, guys, these transitions of results. So try to practice on the platform. On the platform, we are going to have some of those exercises. So if you haven't finished, do it, please. Uh, do you have any questions, guys, before leaving? Nope. No teacher. No teacher. Okay, we are going to stop right here right now. I'm not going to ask you guys to anyone to stay. So no worries. You can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Good night.